Hey, for folks that watched the previous video, someone had jumpered the humbucking coil together. So it was uh, out of circuit the way the uh, loudspeaker was uh, being utilized. A simple method and procedure just to ensure that I have the humbucking coil wired correctly back to the uh, output transformer. Again, if you look at the uh, right top corner of your screen, you'll see a uh, pop-up for a uh, video that I've uh, posted in the past, but I'll demonstrate it here using the uh, BDST signal tracer. And of course you can substitute an O-scope, anything that will read the uh, AC waveform. The frequency itself is not overly critical, again, hum being induced from the uh, fill coil itself, which is energized. You could use a, a signal at 120 hertz. In this case, I'm gonna demonstrate this at um, 1000 hertz or one kilohertz. It's really not critical. And you can see the uh, output transformer lead. The white lead attaches to uh, one side of the uh, humbucking coil. And if I reverse the uh, lead going back to the voice coil from the humbucking coil, you can hear the big difference there. Let me swap them again. That would demonstrate that I have the uh, voice coil tied back to the humbucking coil correctly. Swap one more time. You can hear there there's uh, very little or no cancelization of the uh, signal. Again, I'm just measuring the uh, amplitude of the signal on the primary side of the uh, audio output transformer. So again, I hope you found this helpful. Again, if you ever break down a loudspeaker that has an output transformer, you're not uh, really sure about how it should be hooked up. Again, the idea is to have the uh, humbucking coil out of phase with the uh, voice coil. So this would be my correct configuration. So I hope you found that helpful. Again, I'll go back and make certain that I have the uh, voice coil tied in correctly to the uh, secondary of the output transformer. In addition, the uh, voice coil, you know, connection itself in series with the humbucking coil in this fashion. So the red lead of the voice coil itself, you can see will attach to the uh, humbucking coil at this location. So that will be my solder down location. And then the uh, white lead will be the other side of the uh, output transformer. That wraps things up, folks. I've got all the uh, wires tinted, cleaned up, little heat shrink on each end. Again, confirming the humbucking coil is uh, wired correctly as well. Thanks again for watching. And for reference, the reflected impedance, again, back to the 6F6 G tube. Uh, well over 9,000 ohms at 1 kilohertz. You can see the inductance for reference. 862 millihenries and about 431 ohms of DC resistance. And the field coil at 1 kilohertz, 4.8 henries, 906 ohms. 
again for the B6 Philco loudspeaker and the Philco receiver 37-600.